she went out, wait a minute, I'm talking now, if you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. And the people that do go, she's busing them in and paying them to be there and then showing them in a different light. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies in the history of politics. It must when end immediately. And the way it will end is we need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out. She hates Israel. She wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. She refused to be there because she was at a sorority party. I want the war to stop. I want to save lives. If Donald Trump were president, Putin would be sitting in Kyiv right now. And why don't you tell the 800,000 Polish Americans right here in Pennsylvania how quickly you would give up for the sake of favor and what you think is a friendship with what is known to be a dictator who would eat you for lunch? Well, first of all, it's important to remind the former president, you're not running against Joe Biden, you're running against me. And remember this, she is Biden. You know, she's trying to get away from Biden. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden, and I am certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. She has a plan to confiscate everybody's gun. President Trump, she we has do a have plan. to move. Then this business about taking everyone's guns away. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. So I think you've heard tonight two very different visions for our country. One that is focused on the future and the other that is focused on the past and an attempt to take us backward but we're not going back. And I do believe that the American people know we all have so much more in common than what separates us, and we can chart a new way forward. So she just started by saying she's gonna do this, she's gonna do that, she's gonna do all these wonderful things. Why hasn't she done it? She's been there for three and a half years. They've had three and a half years to fix the border. They've had three and a half years to create jobs, and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? Thank you both.